Good morning, it is January 6th, 2020. Today's video is how to make hundreds, potentially thousands of dollars selling used electronics from thrift stores. This works for eBay, it works for Amazon because the items here are valuable. I'm gonna show you the items. They're gonna be a mixture of DVD players, of VCRs, and some things you may not have thought of. Stick around, I think you're gonna like this video. I hope that uh, for anyone of any level, it becomes very valuable. First store right here. We're looking to do about 20 minutes per store. I'd like to hit about eight today. We'll see if I can do that. We're just doing a quick scan through electronics, sealed media, sealed toys, and that's pretty much it. Here are the electronics, and this is a brand you want to look out for. It's Bose, B-O-S-E. This one is not so valuable. I couldn't test it, so I'm putting it back. It's just a, a basic speaker, but that's a good brand. Over to clocks. I sell a lot of clocks. A lot of these are not worth so much money. Emerson, Jensen, these are kind of like garbage brands. This one to the right of it is Dura brand, kind of a garbage brand. But when you see a Timex or a Sony or a Philips or a Panasonic with nature sounds, with happy lights, with a giant display, those become the kind of things you want to look up. And I'm using FBA for these, Amazon FBA, but you could also eBay too for a lot of these items. You can look them up both ways. For these screen door hardware kits, I just scanned them with a Profit Bandit to get the price I'm going to get for them. And for these two telescopes, I looked up on eBay to see what they go for. The model number is right there on the little eyepiece. You can look it up really simple. These ended up being not worth even testing. They were priced at about half their eBay price, but sometimes they can be big winners you can profit off of. That was pretty awesome. I spent 21 minutes in there. I uh, In that 21 minutes, I bought five things for $30.67, and out of that, I expect to make 240 bucks. That's 60 on the Blu-ray player, 40 bucks on the two DVDs, 60 bucks on those patio door screens, and 80 bucks on the kid's laptop toy I found. That's all profit. So basically, we care about two numbers, revenue and net profit. Revenue is the sale price, the retail price, the gross profit, whatever you wanna call it, and net profit is the money you take home. So there's a lot of different ways you can say this because depending on your perspective, something might be net, it might be gross, it depends how you explain it. But just so you know, the numbers I'm saying going forward are gonna be the profit numbers. So the gross revenue, that's something you can care about and, and figure out on your own just by taking the number I'm saying and then adding on fees and shipping. But just so you know, the numbers I'm saying are profit. Furthermore, I also have to explain that I sell an Amazon FBA, meaning I prep the items. I use a heavily discounted rate to ship them to Amazon's warehouses. They store them, and when a customer buys them, they ship it out. So it's hands-free as soon as I prep and ship out the items. It allows me to scale my business easily and without having to worry about returns, customer service, packaging things, all the kind of stuff that really slows you down. Second stop, this place is a non-affiliated thrift store. I'll be in here about five, 10 minutes. I have two sections to check out and there might not be anything here, I don't know. Here's what I've got in my cart so far. It's a little kid's laptop for two bucks. They're a little, it's like Mattel or Hasbro. This catchphrase goes for about 20 bucks, but that's below my goal my gold price for the year, so I gotta put it back. Uh, and then I'm looking at toys, I'm just, what I'm doing is going on the back of the toy, looking at the model number, and then looking that up, it's really simple. In and out, like 10 minutes, I bought two kids learning laptop toys. Uh, the brands are VTech and Mattel. I'm not gonna say the exact model because this is kind of the, the territory where if you get the same one, you might take a sale away from me because there's such niche, like 300 plus sales rank items. Uh, I guess now also I should say, the numbers I'm looking for, below 300,000 sales rank electronics, below half a million sales rank toys, above 20 bucks profit. Those are my two numbers I'm looking at. Three, I guess, two categories of numbers. So yeah, we have two little kids toys in there. I paid about five bucks for the two of those, and I should get about 90 bucks profit. We're at a Goodwill. The Goodwills around me cherry pick hard, meaning they pick the things out of here and sell them themselves, but they do forget some stuff. I'll be in here about five, 10 minutes, just a quick loop around, and hopefully we'll find some uh, good toys maybe. Like they, they sell a lot of beat bow, Fisher Price toys here. Uh, I can sell them for 30 bucks on Amazon, I'll buy those. Maybe like a Blu-ray player in here, maybe, I don't know. Uh, let's check it out. The first thing I'm looking at is this Leap Pad Little Touch Library. They want 15 bucks for it. The player laptop thing goes for like 35 and those books are going for like 10 a piece, so it's profitable. But I don't want to sell it because it's an iffy product. 
This one is pretty neat. These are some, I think they're vintage. The brand is American Clearwater Vinylite Rainwear. It's like um, a vinyl pair of pants for like duck hunting. Uh, I've seen these go similar things like this for like in the $50 range. I couldn't find comps on eBay, so I'm leaving it, but I do like these and I do think they're pretty neat. There's so many good DVDs here. These are all like Blu-rays or new DVDs or what you're gonna see over here, some rare video games, some PS2 games, a steel book. This is a steel book. There's a metal case exterior to it and these are collectible. This one specifically is an Amazon exclusive so it's going for a lot of money. You're just gonna wanna scan all the barcodes. That's all I'm really doing is scanning barcodes and seeing what is profitable. I found this too, a Panasonic DMR DVD recorder with a remote on the back. Now I think someone may have tested it but they don't know that that outlet doesn't work. They didn't know that outlet there doesn't work. You have to go over to the other outlet in the side of the store, a little uh, pro tip here at this store specifically i plugged it in sure enough it turns on this is huge these dvd recorders with the remote sell for a lot of money oftentimes because the remote is what starts the recording process so it's necessary this was my find i really got lucky today but to prove to you that I, this isn't like a, a fake goodwill a Roomba for 150 So they're still pricing like a bunch of morons here. I just got lucky. This is a Ray Dunn mug. These sell uh, for a profit usually. I could have made about 10 bucks on this. That's below my threshold though, so I left it here. But hey, if you're in Ann Arbor on Carpenter Road, you can grab that mug, make about 10 bucks. Wow, I am so glad I went in that store because that DVD recorder that works with the remote, that's gonna sell for $300 profit crazy find at a thrift store for 13 bucks all those dvds and video games and pc games i saw those are going to add on about 200 bucks profit my total profit at this store that i said is going to suck probably was 502 dollars so that just proves to you even the ones that usually are duds sometimes uh, are going to give you a lot of money so we're at 832 so far it's not even noon yet i definitely make more than a thousand dollars a day you're probably saying, but Blake, it's a DVD recorder. It turns on, but does it record? How do you know that? And I don't know that, but I am very confident it does. Why? Because it had the remote on there. And what is the, how does that make me know this? How am I confident because of that? Now, I'm a reseller, and if I was donating to Dud, which I have done before, you get rid of them that way, you donate them to Goodwill because you want to clog up their workflow, you know what I do? I take the remote out because those remotes sell for like 60 bucks a piece. So it's either an idiot, just an idiot reseller giving it away, or or it's someone who wasn't totally sure what they had in their hands, and they said, you know what, time to give it up, and I am reaping the benefit, the profit. Okay, on to the next door. Five more today. I don't know if we're going to do that, but we'll go for it. Fourth stop, Salvation Army, running out of time, so I'm gonna be really fast in here. If I wanna hit eight today, I gotta do like 20 minutes per for the next five. First thing I saw was a pretty rare Sega Genesis game. It's the six pack, it has a bunch of games on it. They want $10 for it, that's insane. But it sells for 30 bucks FBA. There's the Genesis 2 it came from, that's an old console. Those are not worth 30 bucks, so that's standing on the shelf. I found some DVD players. That's a, a DVD VCR combo, the one beneath it's a 3D dvd player but this is awesome it's a swing groove too and you can they say you can play around a golf on here uh you can do lefty or righty the only problem is these sell for about 25 bucks plus shipping and they want like 20 bucks here so i really would love to own one of these because they're stupid and silly but i gotta leave it here this is interesting it's an irish spring sport bar of soap they want two bucks for it which sucks because I, i'm gonna buy this and i'm gonna sell it for like 12 or 15 bucks but normally when i see these old discontinued makeup or soap lots i'm trying to buy the whole box for like five dollars so my per unit cost is like a quarter unfortunately i gotta leave a lot of these on the shelf i will not be leaving these dvds though well these i will because these are beach body look on the back of those beach body they will make you take down your claims they'll get you banned off amazon off ebay just don't sell beach body stuff other dvds are totally fine but but not these uh these are going to go back on the shelf i bet you want to know how i scan for dvds 
It's really easy, so I'm gonna show you on the side screen right here while I ask you to please subscribe to the channel, comment, give it a thumbs up. Uh, doing this is so easy, doing resale stuff is so easy. All you're doing is just scanning barcodes and then selling them, prepping them online. There's more to it, there's ungating, there's understanding sales rank, and my channel will explain all of that to you. Subscribe, please subscribe, we'll have a lot of fun. You wanna learn more about how that app works? Subscribe to my channel and I'll post a video on it. It'll be a short, concise video because putting a tutorial in the middle of a thrift haul is stupid. One more item I wanted to show you, again, not the most viable thing in the world, but this is like a Chia Pet, basically, except the ground is the head of the Chia Pet. Uh, it's a Looney Tunes, stay off the yard, whatever the hell it is, but you grow grass on there, it's got Taz, it only sells for about 25 bucks, 20 bucks. I like this, but again, sometimes you gotta buy stuff. I mean, you gotta leave stuff that you like to make money because what I think is cool is not always profitable. This has been a phenomenal day for DVD pickups. I found the, the 3D Blu-ray player in there, a DVD VCR combo. I'll get 150 out of both of those combined. Uh, actually 140, sorry, I lied. And then the DVDs, I'm gonna get 12 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 40 bucks, 25 bucks, 40 bucks, 40 bucks, 80 bucks, and then 14 bucks. Uh, there's also a bar of soap in there I'll get 12 bucks for. That's more just for fun to sell because it's like discontinued soap, and I don't know, that's a weird thing to do. But that, my total for that store, I spent 62 bucks if you take out that t-shirt I bought for myself. <laughs> and I'm gonna make $498 profit. That brings my profit up to 1,332 bucks for the day. It's not even one o'clock yet. I spent about 50 minutes in there because I was scanning all the DVDs and VCR <laughs> and CDs and video games. But um, man, this is awesome. I, I could eclipse $2,000 today. Okay, here is a new Salvation Army. I haven't been in here before, but we're doing the same thing. We're walking in, we're scanning stuff, and hopefully I can teach you some fun facts along the way. Over to electronics, and I'm not seeing anything good here. A lot of late 90s, early 2000s Sony DVD players, CD players. These giant control centers, receivers, they are profitable if you find the right way to ship them or sell them locally, but this is not my business model. This stuff is kind of too vintage, too old, not selling fast enough. This is a Sony uh, camera, but it's 7.2 megapixels, uh, and even though I could make a little money off of it, it would take forever to sell, it might not work, uh, the Wii, this Wii I thought was promising, has a U-Draw set there, that's that little tablet as a game involved, or included I mean, but I saw the price tag on it, and they want 50 bucks. Now it'd be half off, it'd be $25, but that's still too much, I'm not paying that for, for that system. They're a pain in the ass to ship and prep, and so I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not really seeing much at all that I like. Um, this is kind of cool, it's a little like MP3 player. Those Skull Candy headphones, I don't sell Skull Candy as a brand. I've heard a lot of people had issues with uh, IP complaints on Amazon. These are two giant pressure cookers. Theoretically, if they work fine, I could make about 30 bucks per on there, but I am not willing to risk it. That's just too, I don't want to test them, I don't want to clean them. That sounds like a bad idea. I was looking for a HDMI port on this uh, monitor because I need one. Doesn't have one though, it only has the VGA or whatever the hell that is. These I thought were a huge windfall. I was like, oh my God, some Schlage door handles. I can get probably 25 bucks a piece for these and they want 250 for them or $3. But then I looked at the bottom and they say aged bronze. Now look at that. Does that look like aged bronze to you? No, that's, what happened is, is they replaced them with the Schlage handles and they put their shitty Walmart handles back in there and then donated them. So, I mean, I guess not trying to be deceitful, but for a lot of people, they might not know that people do that and they would, uh, they'd end up losing a lot of money as a reseller. This is a pretty rare find. This is a Sudoku Illuminated handheld game, and these go for about 50 bucks, but when you're buying these, you have to look for this right here. This is the stylus that comes with the machine. You can replace them, but I have not found a shape of stylus that fits in this hole right here. It's, a, it's its own little proprietary design, so they're hard to replace. But yeah, this is a bolo for sure. If you're in thrift stores, look out for this. They sell for 50 bucks on Amazon. First time in that store, not the best, but I did find a few good finds and I saw a member of the Facebook group, Ben. Ben, what is up? He told me about an awesome retail arbitrage find he just made. If you want to join the Facebook group, it's free. I have a link below. Now what I got there is the main big thing was that Sudoku uh, handheld toy. I'll get 50 bucks off that. I'll get 10 bucks off of one of the DVDs. 
25 for these two DVD sets I found. One of them is like a rock concert. The other is called Mischief Rock Set. It has to do with like classic cars and racing and that kind of stuff. They're pretty high sales rank. I might not sell them for like two months, but I still bought them because they were cheap and I'll make more than 25 bucks off of them or around 25 bucks. So that takes our total up to 1,462 bucks total on five stores, three stores left. It's just about 2 p.m. I'm gonna swing around, get those, and then pick up my girlfriend at work, go back to my warehouse, prep all this stuff, and we will see exactly what the number is. Stay tuned. Store number six right ahead. We're not gonna have time to do eight before I pick up Ashley, so we'll do that, warehouse stop and everything, and then do two more. And I think I'm only gonna need like an hour and a half to prep all this stuff, so I'm okay going a little bit over my allotted time. I walked into the store, I saw all these video games for sale, five for a dollar. It was a flash sale, so I couldn't have planned it, but everything here I bought for 20 cents a piece, including this new Fantasia 2000 VHS, it'll go for about 20 bucks. These PSP games, they are actually going up in value, I've noticed. They, they're not the most, they're not, nothing here sells for like 80 bucks, but all these games I'll get like 10 bucks profit off of, and for 20 cents a piece, I couldn't say no. I had to buy them, even though it was below my minimum. These horns. One, I couldn't authenticate them. Two, they wanted 50 bucks for it. But if these were real, and I could have proven they were real, I know for a fact they go for a lot more than 50 bucks. I've seen these go for like 150, but I just know so little about Western stuff, Western decor, that I left them here. But man alive, that's a deal, I think. Back to the game. So I also picked up a new in-box webcam. This will sell for 75 bucks. I'll make 50 off of that. I'll take that price tag off. Some handheld games. These Radica handheld games, if they are under like 700,000 sales rank and I can get like 25 bucks for them profit, I'm always buying them. Here's a little cool Sony clock radio. Uh, I tested it to make sure it works. Kind of has a weird power plug, but it was real. Now the golf clubs, okay. Golf clubs. You want to learn about golf clubs? Here's a brand you got to buy, TaylorMade, but not that style. Now look over here. If TaylorMade was made in the style of this big driver, it's a 460cc giant bubblehead driver. They're not called bubblehead, but that's what I'm calling it right now. I'd have bought it because it would have sold for at least 25 bucks, potentially hundreds. But all these, this old persimmon uh, wood style, they're just not worth it. So I had to pass on all these, even though I love golf clubs. Wow, that was awesome. They were doing a sale on media and discs and games, five for a dollar. So I paid 20 bucks for, <laughs> well, I paid $27 for 21 games and a camcorder. I mean, uh, a, a, a life cam, whatever the heck it's called, that it sells for 80 bucks online. So this is a great find. I paid almost nothing for this. It's getting kind of dark now. I just did some errands between the last stop and now, so I'm at a new thrift store, but I wanted to go over the games I got. So the big wins there were a webcam that I'll get like 75 bucks for, a handheld game, but mostly it's the video games. And so uh, there's about, let's see, 20 video games, and I will get about $300 for all of those video games. And that brings my total up, including the, um, the webcam that I showed you too, to $1,834, so we are dangerously close to having a $2,000 J day. $2,000 day. Two Gs. I think I might get it. Here's something I cannot sell on Amazon. It's like a glue or something. It's a hazmat. It's poison. It's going to kill you. Uh, but I can sell it on eBay for about 45 bucks. so I'm buying it, making a nice little profit. This is an odd thrift store. I probably won't come back here again, and if I do, it'll be without the expectation of making any profit. It reminds me of like an attic that's been ignored for three decades. A lot of weird tchotchkes and just random stuff. Like this, a catch-a-call from 1999. Uh, this is for dial-up internet, and they do still sell but at my ideal profit margin i'd make like two bucks so it, it's not gonna come uh, i'm not gonna buy it this toy i did buy though for two bucks sells for about 55 and you can look these up look at the bottom of that you see mattel you see p5454 google that on your phone and you're gonna find what it is it's that simple now you saw earlier those vinyl light hunting pants i should have bought these two they're pretty cool game hide is the brand again vintage hunting stuff it sells good, it just sells slow, and I'm not looking for slow sales no matter how cool I think they are. It got dark real fast and uh, out here. I was in there when it happened, so regular glasses on now, not sunglasses. Kind of a dud store. I got three things. I got a Fisher-Price uh, dinosaur toy or a Mattel dinosaur toy, one of those brands. I got a 
Uh, it's like an epoxy. And this can't be sold on eBay because it's a, a hazardous good. But I can do this on Amazon. I'm sorry, that was the wrong way. This can't be sold on Amazon FBA. But it can be sold merchant fulfilled or it can be sold uh, on eBay. One of these sold last month on eBay for $41. I paid three bucks for it. It was half off, so a buck fifty for it. And, uh, you know, just an easy $35 win. It weighs less than half a pound, so it'll ship very light. All right, so now it's 525. I know, so dark. I have $1,919 profit made so far. It hasn't sold yet, but this is really reliable stuff. It'll sell in two or three months. Most likely less than that, but nothing longer than three months. I'm making sure of that based on the sales rank. And again, you want to hear sales rank under explained, you want to understand it better, um, you know, watch other videos. I go into this stuff in detail, in depth, a lot, quite frequently. Anyway, so let's do a few more stores. I really want to get up to $2,000. I really think that's a feasible goal. We're only about 80 bucks away, $81 to be exact. So that's, you know, one DVD VCR combo. I'm just going to hit up like four or five Goodwills that are right within like a five or 10 mile radius. They're not the best stores, but I have to get like one more big win, then I'll go home. Or more accurately, I'll go to my warehouse, prep these, then I'll go home. This is going to be our eighth stop, which was supposed to be the end of the video, but I'm feeling good. I'm going to push it as far as I can go, at least until like 8 p.m. See what we got inside. Awesome. Another thrift store without music so I can talk in here. Uh, or at least talk with the sound on. So this is a PS2 SG Guitar Hero controller. That is a Rock Band controller for the Wii. And beneath it is another Guitar Hero controller for the Wii. I picked up that one. I didn't take the other two. But I wanted to show you this one right here. So it's five bucks. That's probably too much for it. And you're saying, what the heck is that faceplate though? That says Slash. Is that a special edition? Uh, not really. It's a sticker that they got from a special edition. But it, having this faceplate sticker on there does not actually raise the value at all. At least not on Amazon. It might raise it a couple bucks on eBay, but the way I sell it, it's just kind of a, a nuisance. So those are two going back there. I'd make about 15 bucks in the Wii Guitar Hero guitar, but I'm just not going to mess with it because I have so many of them at my warehouse. Over to the electronics, the clocks. These clocks right here, it's like the ISC C218. Nah, yeah, those are kind of trash. I have two of these in stock at Amazon. It's a high sales rank, so I'm gonna leave that here. This is a waterproof camera housing, and I would totally ignore this if it didn't have Canon all over it. It's a proprietary branded one. So somebody wants to deck out their old, I don't know what the heck it is for, their DC26 camera can buy this and use it. It's going for about 90 bucks on Amazon, about 40 on eBay, so I'll sell on Amazon for sure. And I'm examining the outer rim to make sure there's no cracking because it is supposed to be waterproof. More hunting stuff, there's some Quebec Bellas, if these were my size, I would have bought them, but they, they were not long enough for my legs, so I left them there. I didn't see a price tag either, but those those will go for like 40 bucks, maybe more during duck hunting season, but 40 bucks around now. Speaking of ducks, sometimes these wooden mallards go for like $15,000, no lie, but that's made in China. It's a piece of shit. I'm putting it back. I really didn't find a lot I want to buy at this store. A, a few video games, a single... Tweety Bird VHS tape that I'm buying for my grandma, um, the water case, or sorry, the waterproof housing, and that Guitar Hero guitar, kind of a dud. I really hope that the rest of the stores aren't like this because that would be disappointing, huh? I added it up and we are officially over $2,000. We are at 2089 bucks. That was 165 in that store. Man, this is awesome. I'm going to like two more stores and I'll go back to my warehouse. Super dark up because in Michigan, the sun doesn't shine, but profits are shining out of these stores. The last few have been, you know, the $100 stores. That's more like what I'll usually get. They're not as good as the stores I hit up earlier. And on top of that, it's the afternoon, the evening. So they've been sourced by other sellers already, but I can still find a few scraps like I've been finding. This is a new Goodwill and it looks promising. Kickboxing place, sushi place giant goodwill so i'm thinking this is a more affluent area and my hope is, is it's a bunch of richy riches donating all their good stuff that i can buy and sell normally i stay away from boots but i like these uh the brand is um durashock well those are heelys those are trash but the brand is durashock it's um it's bates durashock 
and these boots would go for like 60 bucks used. They sell them for five bucks here, and they're steel-toed, so they're really cool. And I was thinking, okay, why are these boots here? Usually the shoes are picked over really fast, and then as I examine the boots, you're gonna see a giant crack in the sole, so these are just trash. They shouldn't even be in the store. They should be thrown outside, they're garbage. This, <laughs> kind of a funny thing I saw. Um, so you might have seen that Goodwill selling an offer up and that might have scared you. But this is the stuff they're selling on offer up. They're selling breakfast sandwich makers. They're not selling anything that we care about. It's They're not that smart sometimes. Man, I wish I could have made money on this because it was so cool. It's so old and mid-century and just like vintage. It's a McGraw Zero Metal Fan. And these go for like 40 bucks, but they want 10 bucks for it. And I'm going to have to ship it. If I had like an antique store, sure, I'd buy it, but I had to leave it. But don't worry because this is the coolest thing I have seen all day all day last stop and this was like this was like an omen a good omen a sign legend of zelda game i didn't open it up didn't want to cause a scene but man four bucks this thing is so cool oh i love this kind of stuff hey some more ray dunn now i told you earlier in the video about ray dunn and about old soap and here we have a ray dunn thing and some old soap now if i had a different business model i could have made 30 bucks off these two sales it'd be on ebay it might take a minute but i could have done that however i am not doing it so you make some money in dearborn this thrift store was gosh darn awesome now all this this is a new like cassette audiobook these are new vhs tapes here's some new stuff over here okay that doesn't really matter but whoa new dvds hundreds of new dvds i sat here and scanned them all i was like a kid in a candy store but i was a, an adult in the thrift store same thing talk about going out with a bang man the zelda board game 80 bucks profit those 30 DVDs I bought. I, I mean, I spent 90 bucks in there. I paid up, but I'll make about 500 bucks off those DVDs. I'll make about 60 off the Zelda board game. I'll make about 15 off Little Mermaid 2, new in the case. And I'll make about 50 off that Sony clock radio. I may not have shown myself by it, but I bought one. So we're at like almost $3,000. I'm gonna get home. It's only 715. Hopefully I'll get home to my warehouse, prep all that shit, and then get back to my actual home by like nine o'clock or 10 o'clock. Long day, but for $3,000, it's totally worth it. This was an exceptionally good day. I normally would not get this much profit out of these stores, but sometimes you get lucky. Uh, I couldn't do it tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I've cleaned out these, uh, these 10 stores I went to, but the good news is there's the whole east side of Detroit that I could hit up. I don't think I'm gonna, but maybe, I don't know. Subscribe for more videos like this. Join my Patreon if you want to support the channel. I show tons of really great bolos and screenshots there. It's patreon.com slash WBK. And uh, I don't know, share the video. Watch another one. Have some fun. Make some money. See you guys later. Don't be a shithead.